Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan and I run this YouTube channel. I've also done 21 videos, 10 hours of reviews of Magic 2014. I've written 6 articles about Magic 2014. Uh, I on, this is my site MTGO Strat. I also write for Pure MTGO and this has nothing to do with Magic 2014. I've listened to all the reviews from uh, limited resources, I've uh, uh, read all of LSV's articles and I'm just now listening to Totally Lost's uh, big set review. So I am here, I'm ready, it's time. Let's check it out, is it a Swiss draft? Yes, it is a Swiss draft. It's gonna cost me 15 tickets, it's horrible value, but I will be able to sell stuff, because this is very, very early in this. And here we go. Oh, the queues are shooting off quickly here. Uh, Sironic Resonator Makes me wonder if Goldfish has the prices up yet, <laughs> but probably not. Artifice Hex Corrupt Well Rumbling Bailoth Dawn Strider <sighs> Resonator for money, but that would be cheap, wouldn't it? It's up and Resonator is two dollars, that's way too little. Uh, go black for the mono black deck and try to go corrupt. Or just take the bail of and go green here. Is what I'm thinking about. And my 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 instincts tell me to take the bail off, go green, see what happens. So I'm doing it. And I get the black sliver, Liturgy of Blood. I sent the Corrupt, but I wonder if people first pick it. Windstorm is a pretty good card, but it is a sideboard card. Liturgy of Blood is the bigger card. Maybe I can cut black. Going black green, I'm very comfortable with. They say blue is very good in this pack. What's missing in this set? What's missing? No idea what's missing. So the liturgy of blood is so much stronger than anything else in this pack. So I'm picking it. And let's see what else comes up. Shiv's Embrace is pretty strong as well. Rod of Ruin is good, but not that good. Wow, they have prices. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, prices for 2014. $28 for Kalonian Hydra. Well, I don't like Nightwing Shade. Troll Hide is pretty good. But is Yank Growth better? Corpse Holder, pretty average. Am I picking the Shiz Embrace here? Or am I just cutting green? Yeah, I'm cutting green. I think green is weaker than an M13 uh, at this point, but it's not that much weaker. Prey upon is missed a lot. Center course as well, but there are other things like the Rumbling Bailoth. Maybe you just have to commit harder to green than you did in. M13. I have a stellar record of drafting M14. Uh, it's all on the YouTube channel. I've been doing very, very well with it. And they're passing me Fire Shrieker this late. Fire Shrieker is, as far as I know, a uh, first pick. Uh, the M Malhorn is pretty good as well, but I am taking the Fire Shrieker any day here. Because this is uh, one broken card. 
And getting double strike 10 creature is gonna be very, very good. But, need more creatures, and green will provide it. I think one of the difficulties of green here is to break through. And, uh, wow, they are passing me sea kite this late. Uh, but green will lack in removal, so I will hunt the weak. <laughs> and now I need creatures even more. <sighs> okay, blue blue feels open at this point, doesn't it? So now I'm picking the scroll thief. Well, blue is really open. Uh, no, it's not, because these cards are crap. Actually, everything is crap here. So, let's uh, mess with the enchantment guy, perhaps. Two creatures. This can't be normal, can it? I'm trying to avoid going three colors or something like that. And now I'm opening an energy drink! Sorry for the drinking sounds that will bother you immensely! They're passing me claustrophobia. Uh, Vampire Warlord is probably better than you think. Okay, this is where I choose. And I hear blue is so powerful. But here comes corrupt. <laughs> Where's my green at? Um, picking... I, g I could see myself playing Zephyr Shot, but the safe bet here is the Naturalize for the sideboard. And I'm easily taking Rod of Ruin and playing it here. But I still don't have any creatures, what the hell? Okay, we'll see what happens in pack number two. I'm not even sure I'm green here. I'm sure I'm the Fire Shrieker and the Rod of Ruin. Should I have gone red? Okay, rare. Scavenging O's at 18, Mutavolt at 14. Colonial Hydra 28. Coral Merlfolk is barely playable, but it is playable. Whereas Dragon Hatchling is not. But I'll take it anyway, because it's probably better than a land for someone. This is horrible. And I think I am... Uh, Okay, a uh, trading post. Uh, limited resources were up on trade. Briar Pack Alpha is the first pick. There's Predatory Sliver. But I think the Briar Pack is just stronger. Another Liturgy. <sighs> Am I sure on green? Shortcutter, Seacoast Drake. Yeah, I, everything tells me to take the Briar Pack Alpha. Eh. Uh, <laughs> Okay, Air Servant looks like a first pick here. Uh, Mark of the Vampire, Advocate of the Beast, Mystic, Scroll Thief. Well, I'm taking Air Servant and it looks more and more like I am blue-green. With uh, claustrophobia and Rod of Ruin for removal. And I disperse. And five creatures. We know Angelica Court is bad, we know this, but this is a good guy. Uh, but so is the Rumbling Bailoth. 
And I think just uh, casting four fours and beating down is exactly what my deck wants to be doing. So I'm picking the four 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 pick instead of the five the three three five drop. Any day. And now I want to pick up some Elvish Mystics. Uh, the Landworm, the Blightcaster, I think the Blightcaster is really good. <sighs> Ground Shaker Sliver. Well, I need two drops, so I'm taking this guy, but can I get something to improve him? Yeah, the Fire Shrieker, but is there a way for me to gain life in green? Because there probably is not in blue. Hmm. Dismiss into dream, uh, that's a dream. Glimpse the future sucks. Messenger Drake is nothing to laugh at. And it's looking like an 18 land deck. Frost Breath. Brindlebore sucks. Malhorn is pretty good actually. Ring Flesh is good too. I hate playing cards like Frost Breath, but maybe this is a deck that will play Frost Breath. Or will I just hate the Malhorn? Hmm. 14 playables. Oh, I'm taking the Frost Breath. And there, okay, the shield is bad, that's bad, that's bad, everything is bad, everything, what? Okay. Am I splashing for this really late shock? Maybe I can splash. But I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna take a plummet for my sideboard. Wow, we're really getting a lot of green, blue tools. I don't know about Zephyr Charge. I was positive in the rating, but everybody hates it. So I am taking Time Ebb here. Shortcutter seems pretty good, actually. So we are hitting him. We are at 16 playables. Definitely need more two drops. I'll happily play more Corn Murfolks. I think this deck is pretty well positioned for Scroll Thieves with all this uh, temporal removal. So, am I now picking another Scroll Thief over a Rod of Ruin? I think just one Rod of Ruin is enough. Uh, that I'm better off with Scroll Thieves. Maybe I should take the next flying thing that comes along to um, make my Scroll Thief fly. If I get a third Scroll Thief, I will do it. Lay of the Land. That is a Land Splash card. If I splash. But what should I splash for? Nothing so far. Oh, but I could play this deck. It's uh, beating down, feeling good, need more two drops. Or one drops if there were such a thing. <sighs> 17 playables. Glimpse the future is like <laughs> really, really, really bad, but could be played as the 23rd card. Somebody's not going to get to lava axe me. But my curve is horrible. Scavenging news, one time. Jace's Mindseeker. 
Well, that is the first pick if there ever was one. I could have three corrupts. Uh, but we're not gonna have that much fun. We are gonna run a Jace's Mind Seeker, and this definitely looks like an 18 lander. Oh, the small fly is gone from blue then. There's no Velkin turn. And the blue flyers are not aggressive. There's no wind drake. The common flyers are. There's a sea coast drake. Wow, the prices are really, really big right now. Really high. They will fall. Burning Earth. Two dollars. Warden of Evo's Isle, yes please. And there's my mystic, but I think Warden of Evo's Isle is a lot stronger here actually. So I'm picking the Warden. Though so I would love the mystic. <laughs> my curve would love the mystic. But being able to cast these three guys one turn earlier should have some value. Uh, another Briar Pack Alpha, a Root Walla. Frost Breath Sea Kite. I think it's the Briar Pack, will smash through everything. Sea Kite is tempting here, but. Uh, let's hope it goes around. 20 playables. Train Condor. Train Condor for my... Uh, and Hunter Week. How weak is Hunter Week? Is this a rare? No, it's not. <sighs> I think it's the Condor. More creatures uh, being to fl uh, able to fly with the scroll thieves. Yeah, I'll get it any day. Divination Council, there's another. Ooh! Woodborn Behemoth. Yeah, I'll play that in my 18 land deck. I think it's awesome actually. And uh, now the question will be is there a deck? That is fast enough to just run over me because this deck is dirty now. I am just gonna do smash, play you guys, smash. And if the format is slow enough, uh, that'll work. I hear this card is decent actually. And especially if I can do it uh, on the ground creatures, so that's playable, and that's my 23rd, 23 cards. So everything else now is gravy. Well, I'm hating the Pitchburn Devils or picking an Essence Scatter. Essence Scatter is actually a lot better for my curve here. So I'm taking it, I don't like playing counter spells, but I've been told that it's good. I've been told that you win when you resolve opportunity. But here's some claustrophobia. Oh, I think this deck needs claustrophobia more than opportunity. So I'm taking it. And now it's getting good. So I'm hating the Minotaur here. Because there was nothing playable in it. There's a Coral Merfolk. I could have that in my sideboard if I really need to. And the curve says I do. Hmm. But it's probably the Coral Merfolk that will be cut. Time uh, I'm cutting frost breath too, I think. I 
I still think I should play with 18 lands, but I would have been more inclined to play it in lands had I had. Wow, this is a really good card this late. I've been more inclined to play it in lands if I had the opportunity. What about Trollhide? I might be cutting Trollhide. Or sideboarding it. To keep myself at 13 creatures. So we are cutting that thing. Cutting Act of Treason. And Trollhide. Then I have no true card draw. And I really have to play it in lands with these expensive creatures. <sighs> what about the Rod of Ruin? It feels really weak in this deck. But I have such fond memories of winning limited games with it. Well, I'm not gonna play Glimpse the Future. I'm gonna play this person as a scat. Is that enough? Is this my deck? <sighs> and with the Road of Ruin, I have a uh, mana sink. I have something to do for my mana. <sighs> so I'm tr having Trollhide, Naturalized Plummet, and Coral Merfolk in my sideboard. And Frost Breath. But I think I can smash face with these guys. Just as long as I don't get... Uh, I don't lose mana, my creatures... Uh, and as long as I'm not mana screwed, my creatures should take over the game by just being awesome. So we'll see what they suggest. 11-7. Maybe for the claustrophobia, etc. I need double green for the Baylos. If I have 8... I have two green by turn three. <sighs> so this makes Baylos harder to play. But it is the blue cards that will keep me alive at the start of the game. 11-7. <sighs> if I was 10-7 I, I would be okay with that, wouldn't I? So this is my first M14 deck. And all the reviews say that uh, blue-green is so strong and that you should play blue-green. So now, let's try it! This is what we're